day, everyone. My name is John Murray. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Global Sign North America. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our Enterprise PKI application, which is part of our software as a service solution, the Global Sign Certificate Center, which we've talked in the past about managed SSL for issuing SSL certificates, but today I wanted to focus in on our Enterprise PKI application. This is available through your web browser, so you just log into your GCC account and then click on the Enterprise PKI tab and you'll see a bunch of different options for issuing client or user certificates. These certificates would be used for different use cases, such as email encryption or digital signing of emails, typically referred to as SMIME, user authentication or client authentication for um, authenticating against applications, like as a second factor, in addition to username and password. Also for document signing, we have specialized credentials uh, for the Adobe um, authorized trustless program, so we are trusted in the um, Adobe Acrobat applications, Reader and all the Adobe um, Acrobat versions, so that if you want to distribute um, documents with trusted digital signatures, you can do that very easily. So the main uh, screen when you come into the home page um, gives you some options here. Um, it shows if you need to order licenses, which was typically the first step is you'd order licenses for your um, you know, working with your account rep here at GlobalSign. Um, and ordering licenses is quite easy. Um, we leverage our bulk balance, so once we get a, an order or purchase order, the money goes in your account, and then you can come in here and, and obtain your licenses. So we have licenses for um, personal and departmental digital IDs, our personal sign product, which is marked for all different types of use cases, can be used for client authentication, for the email encryption, or document signing of you know, Microsoft Office documents. We have our AATL credentials, the Adobe Authorized Trust List credentials, which are used for specifically signing uh, PDF files with trusted digital signatures, and we're part of that, um, the trust anchors in Acrobat. And then we have, um, a very specific type of certificate, SMIME certificates, that specifically are marked just for um, email encryption and digital signing of emails. And they're uh, a little less expensive than the full-blown personal sign certificates. So I come in and order licenses. Um, when you go to your, um, uh, to your home to order certificates, for instance, you'll notice that you can have multiple licenses available. So I can order different types of uh, any combination of those three types of licenses and have those available in my account. I can also have multiple profiles similar to Manage SSL. If I have a subsidiary uh, company or a different division and I want to have it branded differently um, and I own and control those domains that I'm going to be issuing certificates to, I can add different profiles to my account um, for you know subsidiary organizations so that they would have the subsidiary name in the, in the distinguished name information versus the main company's information. Um, so that makes it really easy. So if I want to order a certificate, um, I would just typically choose which profile I want to use. And this would be me coming in as an administrator wanting to get a cert to somebody um, that needs a certificate for their job. So I would come in here um, and then I would just need to enter the details. Unlike an SSL certificate, the common name of a client certificate is a, is a person's name. So I'm going to put in my name here. Um, I've already have an organizational unit locked down. You can see these values are locked down because this is a vetted information or authenticated information that we've reviewed and approved. So this is what will get stamped on the certificate when it gets issued. I would enter my email address as well. Um, and then if it was for specific Microsoft applications that you were using, you might want to use the user principal name, which is usually the same as the email address, but I'm going to leave that out for this. Um, you have, there's some advanced options here. If I had an external CSR that was generated from a system, I could use that and paste that in. Typically, you would just enter in the details here and it would generate the certificate. That's, that's not used very commonly. Uh, key thing here is you need to enter in a pickup password. So I'm going to enter in a unique password which I have to enter in twice here to confirm. This password is going to be used um, and provided um, to the user out of band so that when they get the email with this certificate, they'll be able to enter that in and that will authenticate them to picking up that cert so that if somebody were to intercept the email and get a hold of that email, they would not be able to get the certificate without the pickup password. Uh, there's a password generator here if you want to generate a quick, strong password. 
Um, it is stored in our system and administrators can see it, but uh, not anybody else. So you'd go through that, it confirms details, and then you'd hit complete. Uh, then my order has been placed and I get an, um, an order number here um, that would be unique to that particular certificate order. So I can look in here just so you can see. Um, I can search for all my certs. I just ordered that one. Um, you can see here it's um, been requested. I just ordered one a few minutes ago, which has been issued, issue completed. You can see the status here. It doesn't take very long for this. It takes about a minute to two minutes for our systems to synchronize because we've already done the vetting. We've already done all the authentication. So we'll instantly issue the certificate. So I can also search, um, you know, just as we're on the search area and reporting, I can easily come in here and search by different license types, the order state, um, the status of the certificate. Um, I can punch, punch in the profile that I, if I'm looking for certificates of a specific profile, um, a particular email address, I can come in here and find those very easily or just use the quick search bar up here. Um, and I can also, if I need to do some external uh, reporting or provide information to finance or to other people in the organization, I can always uh, punch this out in a, in a CSV file. So I'm just uh, going to generate that and drag that over so you can see that. So here's my report. Um, with my all my certificates that have been issued out of my account. So it's very easy to get the data or the information you need out of here into, a, into an application like Excel. I can also do an export of an LDIF file, which is um, used for importing into Active Directory if I was doing some manual work there um, and wanted to push these into Active Directory. I can uh, export the um, LDIF format, um, which I it stands for the lightweight directory um, interchange format, which I can then use to suck in Active Directory. Um, an easier method would be to use our um, auto enrollment gateway product and um, automate this whole process and have it automatically go into Active Directory, but that's, a, that's an, another solution that we have that ties our enterprise PKI application tightly in with your Active Directory environment. So we can talk about that another day. Uh, so basically, I've, I've placed an order for a certificate that uh, an email has gone to the end user um, and uh, you can uh, pull that over so that uh, I can show you what that looks like. So it shows that this has been um, issued and then you can get the uh, pickup email as well. This is the email the end user would get and they would just uh, take this URL, paste it in their browser, and it would bring them to a page where they would use that pickup password basically to authenticate themselves and it would automatically download the certificate into the Microsoft um, certificate store on the end user's uh, PC. There's some other options for ordering. That was kind of a one-to-one. -one. You know, I needed to get a cert to one individual, but if I needed to get certs to say a dozen people, 20 people, 30 people, there's also this concept of a bulk order uh, process that we have, which is really convenient. So this would allow me to, again, like I did with an individual order, choose a particular profile, a particular pack of uh, licenses, and then go through a process where I can upload a CSV file. You'll see here that it gives me the exact format I would need to create the CSV file in, and this would allow me to basically um, choose that file on my PC, upload it to, the, um, to our system, and then automatically issue those certificates to, to multiple individuals. It'll do up to 500 at a time. So that, that's another way to um, order certificates. Uh, the, there's a third method too, which is the concept of a, of a, of a user portal that we have. So uh, we have a portal that you can give this URL out to an individual and it would allow them to go to the page and basically apply for themselves. So if I um, just open this up in a new tab, This is uh, very similar to the public ordering page that we have for the managed SSL. It gives you an ability to set up a quick and easy self-service portal. Um, and I can then you know, place an order for a certificate. The user would self-enter this information and then they would uh, submit it. Uh, and then that would end up going into this uh, approve, approve pending certificates. So this would be a queue of orders 
that would be entered in and I would then have to you know accept or reject those uh, those orders there's also some uh, advanced options too uh, that you can uh, enable or utilize. So if I want to see all the emails that have been sent, so I want to look at the communications that have gone on to the end user, I might need to resend it. Um, so there's different different options in here um, for um, finding you know your your emails that have gone out of the system. And if I need to resend any of the pickup emails or anything, I can I can activate that through this through this view as well. because we log basically everything that goes out of the system. Um, you can also do um, custom, you can uh, configure email templates as well. So that's um, if you wanted to put custom information um, in your, uh, you know, into, into a particular email template, there's an ability to basically come in here and manage those email templates. Um, there's email templates for pretty much every action or every uh, stage of the life cycle. So there's obviously renewal notices that go out in increments here. Uh, there's your, obviously the order received and then there's the pickup email. So if you wanted to add custom um, you know, language to those templates regarding company policies, specific company policies, or potentially contact information for if they need help, with installing the certificate or utilizing the certificate or activating it in Outlook, you could, you know, put in your um, your help desk number and help desk information as well. So, uh, one of the things to do is I just want to talk a little bit about ordering licenses. So, the way this works is you buy packs of licenses, uh, depending on the type of search you need, and you'll see here we have. Um, different types of certificates. We have the personal science certificates, which are uh, the full-blown uh, certs marked for all use cases, so they can be used for email encryption, um, email signing, client authentication or user authentication, and document signing for Microsoft Office, for instance. Then we have the Adobe um, specific ATL credentials, which are used uh, to issue certs for people that want to sign PDFs and have those trusted in the you know, Adobe Acrobat Reader as well as all the other Adobe Acrobat applications. And then we have a, a skinny down version of a certificate. The S-MIME certs are only marked for email encryption and um, e digital signing of emails and for people that just have that specific use case and, and they're a little more cost effective. So um, you, you basically can order packs and add them to your account at any time. You can use a credit card. You, can, you know, typically um, our customers would give us a purchase order. The funds would go into your account, and then you could use those funds to uh, purchase the packs uh, for you know to load into your account at any time. Um, you can see uh, when you go into the order certificates. Just to review, you'll see um, exactly what's available in the different. I have a couple different packs here. I have both the per full personal sign as well as some of the S MIME sorts, and it shows me how many licenses I have available that have been unused. The licenses. Uh, once you download a pack, you have 12 months to use those licenses. Um, there's some other functions here. Um, action log, which kind of shows. Um, some of the things that have gone on in the certificate. So, you know, downloading a CSV, everything that happens within the account gets logged. So if I needed to go back and, and research a particular cert um, or look at a particular issue, I can come in here and, and basically search through all the different actions that happen and it shows, you know, the ID, the user that, that ordered the certificate, because you can see I ordered on the administrator. Um, the IP and then dates and all and all the necessary information and then quick links to where the pack, you know, which license pack and that would quickly uh, link you over to look at a particular uh, license pack. So, um, in summary, you know, this makes it very easy for an organization to order certificates for individuals, for large groups, or, you know, to help a, self, a self-service portal for um, your users to come if they need a sort, you could send out that URL, they could uh, apply for a certificate, then you would have to approve it. Um, there's also, uh, you know, some other functionality here around, um, you know, again, configuring the LDIF for Active Directory. Um, and there's also, again, we do have the ability with our auto enrollment gateway to kind of automate this and have um, Active Directory um, talk directly to our um, application and down, you know, grab certificates in an automated fashion for users um, set up, you know, based on group policy. 
Uh, that's a whole other, that's a, another discussion when we talk about our auto enrollment gateway, which is one of our core products for, you know, certificate automation and, life, and automated certificate lifecycle management. So that's uh, the overview for today on Enterprise PKI. Greatly appreciate your time and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. For more Global Sign videos on identity, cybersecurity, and PKI, please follow one of the links on your screen. To keep up to date with the latest content, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.